guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the island playing some Ark in single player. And the reason we're in single player today is because I want to play with the new stuff, but since we play it on an Extinction Core server, that stuff is not yet in the game. I want to check out the tech armor and look at this crazy hair. Look at it flow in the wind. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you guys do enjoy the videos or if you learn something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, feel free to subscribe and share if you have not done so already. So, um, since we're just in single player and just test this stuff out, I just spawned in the stuff just so we can kind of see what it looks like and see what it is. Um, so let's start with the basic stuff first. The lance. I already got the materials for it. I only craft three? Ugh. Let's craft two. And also some scissors. Let's craft uh, two of those, because I don't know if they break. Can we still make a third lance now? I just don't want to use all my materials. Sure can. Awesome. So we're going to see how this stuff works. Oh, it's heavy. It's 20. Knock your foes off their mounts. It can only be utilized while riding a mount. Okay, so let's see. So if I equip it and then try to open it, nothing happens. Luckily, we have ourselves a saber here. And then... Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you can only do it in first person mode. I can't uh, zoom out. That's cool. Let's see. Uh, does it work against dinos? Uh, uh, very little damage. One, 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 one. So definitely it looks cool. It'll definitely be something fun to play around with even if it is gonna be mostly useful. I do like when they add the little fun things to the game that are just cool. So you can go and ride and knock your tribe members off their mount and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. And then let's grab the skizzers. What do those look like? Okay. Uh, I tried to make a mirror from Scorched Earth. I spawned one in and it like, still doesn't work. Can't see anything. I don't know how to change my haircut yet. Maybe you have to have someone else do it for you. Not 100% sure. Oh, okay, so right clicking will open this. Awesome, so we got hair length, tiny to massive. Facial hair length. Ooh, okay, styles. We got uh, default, mustache, and goatee. Let's go with the mustache. Oh, we definitely want some handlebar mustache. Styles, we only have three styles right now. Default, mohawk, and afro. Oh, maybe now it has to regrow because it does grow in real time. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we are the coolest. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We can check that out. But of course, let's... oh, and now we have human hair. That's creepy. But now the thing we want to check out is, of course, the tech stuff. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's check out the tech replicator, which is the crafting station. How big is it? Oh, man, that thing is massive. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, access inventory, show all. So we can make shocking trank darts, bunch of stuff from, okay, so you can make a bunch of stuff in here. Huh, is it like an upgraded fabricator? Is that pretty much what it is? This looks like all the fabricator stuff, plus all the tech stuff. So let's see how much the requirements are for these. So the Transmitter takes 40 element, 2,500 metal, 250 crystal, 80 pearl, 320 polymer. That's quite a bit. So the element stuff you get from killing bosses. We spawn some in, but that is where you normally would get it. And all this stuff seems to take the same stuff. Polymer, metal, crystal, elements, and pearls. Black pearls, Paul. Oh man, this stuff is really, really expensive. And I believe you charge the tech gear with the element stuff as well. I don't know how much of that you get. Let's try Let's check this out. So these are the transmitters. So let's say we throw one like right here. Does it need to be powered or anything? Turn on. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Access inventory. Transmit items, survivor the creatures to other arcs. Oh. Oh. This is a transfer through servers. I thought it was like a teleporter. That's way more interesting. So how do we turn this on? Does it need to be powered? Or I think we power it with the element stuff. Okay, so let's not show all, let's turn it on. Oh, oh, things are happening. What? 
We're screenshotting that because that looks amazing. So far, I'm really impressed with this stuff. Um, okay, so how long does that element stuff last? You just used one. I'm guessing probably like 15 minutes or maybe one minute. I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, and okay, let's go ahead and equip all this stuff. Chest, hands, boots, legs, helmet, and of course, rifle. And you know we're going to look amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, so I don't know how this stuff works. Oh, so we have a... When we're zoomed in, we have a, uh, a visor look, which I'm not a huge fan of. So let's see if we run. We're supposed to be able to run across water. Oh! Okay, that. Okay, so over on the bottom right corner, we have our specs, so to speak. So next to like uh, over on the bottom right, can you see over there? Er, over there, over here. <laughs> um, it shows like a charge amount. So I can fly, which is amazing. And it seems to use that fuel really, really fast. So hopefully this tech stuff you get from bosses or this element stuff drops quite a lot. So how now do I recharge it? Do I use this element stuff? Let's see, yes. Okay, so it takes one element to charge everything. Let's charge it all up. Okay, so I believe... Okay, how do we use like the super fast speed? Oh my gosh, the flying is amazing! Oh, whoa, there it is. Okay, so I hold... So for me, it's control, which might be C for you guys, because I did uh, change my controls a bit. I don't remember, so let's see. Oh, you can only go in a straight line, but... Okay, and you can run for a lot longer. I can't turn or anything, but then can I... Oh! Oh, you can use both at once for super speed? Just destroying everything in our path. Do we, do we just aggro that guy? Let's punch him. Okay, so that's how you run. Okay, I believe swimming... <laughs> our chest is already empty. Okay, let's fill that up. So the, the running doesn't take nearly as much, but the chest does. So I believe we also have infinite oxygen with this set. It's like a new scuba thing. Yeah. Oh, we can hold shift like sprint underwater, kind of. And can we go straight up out of the water? Sure can. These other things say they charge devastating punches. How do we do it? Whoa! Okay, holding right click. Mm. Oh, that's cool. What does that look like? Oh my gosh, can you do it from the air? Oh, this. Can we destroy a tree? Oh, that's really kind of hard to aim. So the boots are the running. Oh wait, also absorbing impact from falling high distances. The legs are running. The This has the integrated jetpack, and this gives you, oh, night vision. All provides a targeting mode that reveals other character positions and infinite oxygen while underwater. Okay, so let's look at the fall distance thing. Okay, go high up. Oh, so when I'm just going straight up, the jetpack uses a lot less fuel. Still uses it pretty quick though. Okay, let's check this out. Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? No, not at all. Wow. Okay, what kind of damage does this thing do? Let's see. Oh, wait. We also have the Rex armor, so let's go ahead and throw that on too. Okay, so it replaces the saddle. And what does it look like? Amazingness. Okay, there's the bite. Oh, we have to charge it with the element. Yes, but you can't do it when it's equipped, it looks like. So control switches between non-laser mode and laser mode, and then you can just... Oh, this Parasaur, this poor Parasaur, we're just wrecking him right now. But every time we shoot a laser, it uses, what is that? We're at 28% in the top right corner. <laughs> now we're at 22, 6%, so you don't have a whole lot. But, either way, that's pretty dang rad. Okay, so we got our rifle. Kind of rent. Ooh. It's got kind of a scope deal on it. 
die! <laughs> Hover over the water. Ooh, 300 damage a shot. And each shot looks like it takes 2%, so one element will give you 50 shots. Um, which is not too bad. Let's just... Oh, but we can't do the run across water thing with our gun out. Okay. Because control does whatever that is. Melee. All right, so I looked up how to use the helmet options on the tech gear. Um, okay, first let's go ahead and run somewhere where there's some more dinos. Or let's fly there in like Superman mode. Uh, what do we got over here? Okay, there's some dinos over here. So, we double tap E and it will give us a couple modes. The first mode, it's like a pulse mode. It's gonna show things around us. How does that look from the sky? Whoop. Can we go straight up? Oh, it automatically will refill the energy, it looks like, when you run out. Okay, so we can see things around us, which is gonna help not only to spot dinos, but also I believe it'll tell you, and we'll check it when we get back over to the little base thing that we built, um, like things that are allies and whatnot. You double tap again, oh, double tap, and we have night vision, which is rad. Um, and then if you do one more time, you get both, night vision and the pulsing. And it looks like you can leave this on for a while, yeah, see now those things are pulsing in green as opposed to white for the wild. I'm assuming red is probably enemies, blue is allies, kind of like it normally is. But uh, for the most part, guys, I do think that is... Oh, we have to cycle all the way back through, huh? Oh, let's gamma up. So for the most part, I think that's pretty much all the tech stuff that's in the update. Um, this is just a little quick video showing you how it is when we can actually use it with Extinction Core we will get the stuff, you know, legitimately, and then uh, I'll show you guys how to do that and kill all the bosses and whatnot then. But for today, guys, I do think that is gonna be it. If you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you haven't yet, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also check me out on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, and even your Google Plus. Oh, double hitting the space bar does a cool, like, jump. <laughs> Also, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. But for today, guys, like I said, that is going to be it. I do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.